Continuing with the concept of DFT in the previous video, let us look at some of the DFT rules and tips in order to implement them. First, each process should have at least one input and one output. Also, each data store should have at least one data flow in and one data flow out. Data stored in a system must go through a process. And all processes in a DFD lead to another process or a data store. A data flow diagram can dive into progressively more details by using levels and layers zeroing on a particular piece. DFD levels are numbered 0, 1, or 2 and occasionally go to even level 3 or beyond. The necessary level or detail depends on the scope of what you are trying to accomplish. Let's look at DFD levels and layers in detail. DFD level 0 is also called a context diagram. It is a basic overview of the whole system or process being analyzed or modeled. It is designed to be an at-a-glance view showing the system as a single high-level process with its relationship to external entities. It should be easily understood by a wide audience, including stakeholders, business analysts, data analysts, and developers. DFD Level 1 provides a more detailed breakout of pieces of the context level diagram. Here, DFD is broken down into subsystems. DFD Level 2 then goes one step deeper into parts of Level 1. It may require more text to reach the necessary level of detail about the system's functioning. Progression to levels 3, 4, and beyond is possible, but going beyond level 3 is uncommon. Doing so can create complexity that makes it difficult to communicate, compare, or model effectively. Also, it can be seen that DFD is not so rigid in structure as a flowchart is. However, DFT can become very complex at one stage and if not represented in synchronization, can confuse another user for reference. Let us look at another category known as hierarchical flow diagrams. Hierarchy is a way to structure an organization using different levels of authority and a vertical link or chain of command between superior and subordinate levels of the organization. Higher level controls lower levels of the hierarchy. You can think of an organizational hierarchy as a pyramid. The highest level of authority is at the top of the pyramid and orders flow from this top level down to the next level where it continues to move on down until it reaches the level where the order is supposed to be carried out. For example, as seen, the board is the highest authority used in the diagram. The authority then moves down onto the president, vice president, department heads, and so on until it reaches the base level, which is the employees. The orders and the decision flow from top of the hierarchy to the lower level and thus the output flows from the lowest level to the highest level. Hierarchical level maintains a decorum and the overall organizational flow. This was all about today's topic. Have a nice time ahead. See you in the next video.